I am the contrarian and this is my world. Hi, I am Mossam, a faculty member at the Department of Computer Science at IIT Delhi. I do research in artificial intelligence. It is the science of making machines intelligent. It is the technology of the future. It is going to revolutionize how we live. I am here on the contrarian that he needn't be worried and remove any doubts he may have about AI. I am going to succeed. You've seen it in movies, you've fantasized about it, you've read books about it. In fact, for the last hundred years or so, these two words put together makes everybody feel amazing. Some feel it will really enhance their lives, some feel it's the final frontier, some call it the holy grail. Artificial intelligence, but you know my viewpoint on it, you just saw it. Now with me is a guest who's going to take about a minute. Tell me why you think artificial intelligence is something that really excites you. See, AI is what makes machines intelligent, right? Think of uh, our body. We are an organism. What really makes us special is our brain. And AI is what makes machines special. In fact, give me any platform, any environment, the brain, AI, can optimize it, can make it more efficient, can actually take it from just an organism or just a platform to success, to something that can add real value in the world. And we have started seeing this already in a wide variety of spheres. You know, long time back we saw that we thought that chess can never be conquered by machine. You know, there were uh, things of a, me a mechanical Turk where somebody is hiding inside a, a box and playing chess and people are thinking machines are intelligent. In 96, we showed that AI can actually defeat humans. Uh, now we are getting into driverless cars. We are getting into scenarios where we can play games at the level of people. We are getting into scenarios where we are able to find thieves, we are able to find robbers, we are able to find terrorists using AI technology. We are getting into scenarios where we have all these people connected to the world uh, through you in social network and AI is really helping you figure out what is important, which people's uh, uh, posts should you be seeing, who should be your friends and so on and so forth. AI is helping you in a wide variety of spheres and adding so much value. This is just the start, but just in the start, so many things that you described all made human beings redundant. When the steam engine came, there was a lot of, I mean, the whole idea of Ludites and all of this thing came from that time that the steam engine and the power of the machine will be more than the muscle of a human being, right? And people were very, very scared of what would happen now. It has made a lot of people redundant. There's no going away from it. But AI and robotics put together have the potential to completely destroy economies, jobs. People that use manual labor was the first big one with robotics. But now with AI, even analysis, you basically just said it yourself, a machine can actually play chess, right? So the number of jobs that that machine can replace of analysts, stock market analysts, people that want to do just trades, and a hundred other, I mean, <clears throat> At last count, they said, with even 10% better AI, 700 of categories of jobs will be made redundant. Why are you excited about making humans redundant? Of course not. I am not excited about making humans redundant at all. In fact, I am excited about making people more and more sophisticated, making them better and better in whatever they do. So I am not here to say I hate artificial intelligence. That's not my view. Good to know. I am just saying that the euphoria around it seems to be unfounded because people aren't thinking very clearly about the final implications. You say in the short term, let me describe to you what I think will be the medium and long term, okay. then let's hear. So between robotics and artificial intelligence, we are going side to side right now. One may be a little higher, one this thing. Eventually the merge will come together. Every manual labor job will be redundant. Most thinking jobs will be redundant. After all, you're giving them AI to have a better life, right? When 80 to 90% of jobs are gone in the medium and long term, could you describe what we'll all be doing? So I don't subscribe to the view that 80 to the 90% of the jobs are going to be redundant. In fact, what is going to happen, in my personal opinion, is that yes, in the short term, some jobs are going to be redundant. When calculators came, a lot of people didn't bother to learn multiplication and addition to that level of depth. They can't do mental math. But can you say that they can't do math? Of course not. They have calculators to help and they can do bigger calculations and do bigger things with it. So really what is going to happen... that didn't take a job away from That anybody. didn't take a job away. What's going to happen is that people are getting going to get more than more sophisticated. Let's, let's just take one step backward, then we'll come to you explaining a few of the jobs that the second generation from now will be doing. You have, you've got to give me some examples. Let's take one step back first, mm -hmm. okay? 
Uh, do you truly believe that artificial intelligence will be able to do all parts, including the most important thing, which is, they say in a human being, you said the brain is mainly the most important. Don't you feel self-awareness? I know who I am is the most important part of a human being, not necessarily the brain. So I, my personal belief is that AI will not reach as far as the human intelligence in many scenarios, and it will supersede human intelligence in some scenarios. Okay, can you explain so the really ones it will not and the ones it will supersede? Yes, absolutely. So think about the skills of each of these uh, entities, right? Let's now, don't think of machine as a different being. Machine is one kind of entity. Yes. It has some hardware, it has some compute power, it has some memory. Humans is another hardware. It has some uh, uh, compute power, it has some Correct. memory. Our memory, and our compute power is actually smaller than a machine. Correct. However, our layers, our depth, and our abstractions, and our, uh, the parallelism that is present in our human brain, that is actually- You're basically describing self-awareness in more ways. Like, I, the awareness that I exist as a human being, and everything around me that happens has impact on me, that self-awareness, those layers are far more complex and sophisticated. Absolutely. Okay. And moreover, I believe creativity, in ways that humans are able to express, I personally don't see machines expressing it. May I just come back to reality right now, which yes. is the true part uh -huh. of what the, give me the job replacement for 80% of the workforce. What will they be doing 50 they, years from now? Humans have immense creativity of coming up with new possibilities. So once tell we me, have no, give, these, me, give me the names of those jobs. Once we have these kinds of machines, so we will these not are, these, are, these are vague sentences. Right. I want to know, name five jobs that, right. that have been so created. So now we can do surgeries remote in a remote environment. I don't have to go to the village and but do the surgery. But why do you need a remote surgery? You can actually have better artificial intelligence for a robotic surgery system as I said, to do it. As I said, people have different strengths. The strengths of abstraction uh, and machines typically operate in a somewhat of a limited environment. So there are some things that machines will become really, really good at, but there are some things that people will become continue becoming better and better and better. So once people will have the ability to do these surgeries, they will be manning five surgeries at the same time happening in different villages, and they will be doing it sitting at their home, but they are not being redundant. They are actually figuring out that the robot is not doing the right thing, giving instructions, working with the robot. But are you not doing the mathematics of it? I mean, I'm saying that those that do have some jobs will be much better at it. Mm -hmm. I'm saying 90% of people will not have jobs because for every one robotic system that enters into an ecosystem, a thousand jobs are taken away, mm -hmm. replaced by one. That's the whole idea of robotics in AI. I, I personally don't feel that thousand jobs are replaced by one. What really happens is that the thousand jobs are gone, but the next generation really figures out what these new capabilities can take us? Where do these uh, new if capabilities take us? that was true, there would up? be no unemployment right now, rather than the staggering rate of unemployment or un unemployment throughout the world. If this generation or the previous one had figured it out, we live in a world where we are at the most amazing time of technology. True? Absolutely. I mean, the greatest leap in technology is happening right now in the last five years and hopefully in the next 10, will be the greatest 15 years of technology. Mm -hmm. Why have we not figured it out? In fact, See, the reason why we have so much unemployment is because we have too much population. Tell me how many jobs have been replaced. So then that's the whole problem. So are you saying that AI will also give intelligence to people not to procreate that much? Uh, I, I can't say that. That's, that's <laughs> people's choice. But really coming back to the question, you are saying that there is a lot of unemployment today. But none of that unemployment is really because of AI. It actually In fact, is. it's not because of no, AI. No, not because of AI, but exactly. because of because of current technology. Now, I have three quick fire questions because we're running out of time. So, okay. I have three quick fire questions. Do you feel morally wrong that we human beings want to create something that is equal or superior to us, either made by evolution or God, whichever one of the two you are a believer in? Is there a moral problem in this? Absolutely not. We made bigger You're... machines which could lift bigger weights. We had no moral issues with them. They are also superior beings than us. So making uh, another machine which... No, but you just said that the most important part of us is our brain. So, so muscle power being replaced is still okay. Why? That's Be also something that God created or evolution created. Why is muscle power any different from... Because you said the most important part of a human being is the brain, sure. not the muscle power. But I don't actually believe that those brains are going to be replaced. In fact, it's a, uh, it's a collaborative environment that I you, envision. You, so you're basically saying that there will be a limit to AI. I believe that uh, there is no limit to AI, but the direction of growth is different. Okay, will our brains ever be uh, downloaded onto a hard drive and when we die, we'll still know where we are? 
I feel that's very far-fetched, more like science fiction than reality. If it may happen 100 years or 150 years from now, but I can't foresee that. Far. Okay, all right. So then we shouldn't be too concerned about that. I right? don't okay. believe right now. What we have seen in AI so far is that language processing, vision, common sense, these are things that are very, very hard for machines. Wit, I've heard that one of the biggest problems is, is to actually get practically impossible. actual sarcasm, they said, yeah, is the most yeah, impossible yeah. thing sarcasm for AI to get. Sarcasm is very, right? very hard. Reminds so, me of Big Bang Theory, Sheldon <laughs> Cooper, because some people also have that problem. But uh, really, those things are very hard. So while you have a very optimistic worldview that within a few years we are going to get there, I say I don't know whether it's an years. optimistic worldview. I'm just saying I, that's the way I see or things Or your happen. pessimistic <laughs> worldview because you're taking it too far. Okay. I think people evolve with machines. Yes, machines will be more present in our lives. But we will have a synergistic worldview where some of the things that we could not do earlier would be done through machines. But I don't believe so you're that basically it's saying a, a collaborative world where absolutely. AI and human intelligence, HI, will be together. Absolutely. Right? All right, great. So AI and HI together would be the perfect world. Will it be like that? Now I don't know whether you and I will be around to see it reach that culmination where AI becomes superior to the human brain. It could happen. As our guest has told us, it may not happen. But do remember, if one day you're watching this show as a hard drive on some computer, and you're watching it because that's where you've been downloaded, I'm saying hi to you. This